The concept of the double coincidence of wants is pivotal in understanding the mechanics of barter economies and their inherent limitations. This term describes a situation where two parties each possess an item that the other desires and are willing to engage in a direct exchange. For a barter to occur, a double coincidence of wants is necessary. Both participants must find each other at the right moment and have goods or services that are of equal interest to exchange. This requirement for a perfect alignment of wants highlights the inefficiency of barter systems compared to monetary systems. Bartering demands that both parties have precisely what the other needs at the same time, which is statistically improbable in a diverse economy. As a result, much time and effort are expended in the search for a matching party, which significantly hampers the potential for regular and convenient trade. The advent of money addresses these inefficiencies by serving as a medium of exchange, a unit of account, and a store of value. Money eliminates the need for a direct match by providing a universally accepted intermediary that can be exchanged for goods and services at any time. This flexibility allows for the separation of the act of selling from the act of buying, thereby supporting a more fluid and dynamic marketplace. The historical shift from barter to monetary economies marked a profound evolution in human commerce. As communities grew and economic activities became more complex, the cumbersome nature of barter became increasingly untenable. Money facilitated the expansion of trade networks, the specialization of labor, and overall economic growth, which were constrained under barter due to the double coincidence of wants. In modern times, while money predominantly governs transactions, the double coincidence of wants still surfaces, especially in situations where currency systems break down or in tightly knit communities where trust and reciprocity enable barter-like exchanges. Additionally, the digital revolution has rekindled interest in barter systems through online platforms that enable users to trade goods and services. These platforms often utilize digital credits or points systems to circumvent the direct need for a double coincidence, reflecting a hybrid model of barter and currency-based features. The study of the double coincidence of wants not only illuminates a fundamental challenge in traditional barter systems, but also enhances our appreciation for the role of money in facilitating economic transactions. Understanding this concept deepens our insight into both historical economic systems and the potential future trajectory of trade and commerce in a digital age. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more interesting discussions.